everybody. <laughs> Let's have another round of applause for those other two gentlemen whose names I don't remember. Right? These guys are awesome. Who are they? No, I know their names. Their names are Mark and Graham. And, uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Over there, there's some sort of massive discussion broke out. Hey, that's that guy from that show on that network on TV. Alright. I wrote down everything that I want to talk about tonight because, uh, you know, I'm a professional and you guys deserve a professional show, not some stoner up here going, uh... Weed? So... So whenever I lose my place, bam, just look at this, and bam, we're right back in. Yeah, let's get started. My name is Doug Benson, and I am here to recruit you to smoke weed, or not give a shit if other people smoke weed. fall into one of those two simple categories. It's easier than Plinko. It's not like... It's not like the non-pot smokers have to deal with the pot smokers all the time. It's not like we show up at your house and kick the door down and blow a bong load into your hoo-hoo. I don't even know what a hoo-hoo is. How can I blow a bong load into it? Just the other day, I got into, the eleva into an elevator and there was this dude standing in there which is cool, that's how elevators work. And the door's closed, and a couple of seconds later, he's like... <laughs> and I was like, oh no. Is this a drug dog in a man suit? Am I in an elevator with McGruff undercover? The guy goes, is that you that smells so good up in here? And I was like, all right. This guy is a pot connoisseur, and he can smell it on my breath and or clothes. But then, like, a couple seconds later, I realized that I had just shit myself. And I was like, that guy is a weirdo. It does not smell good up in here. It smells like somebody just shit themselves. 